Archaeologists are usually great at drawing data from artifacts they unearth, but sometimes even experts get stumped. From the Abydos helicopter to the missing tomb of Genghis Khan, here are 20 most amazing finds archaeologists still can't explain. Number 20. Abydos Helicopter The ancient Egyptians have long been connected to extraterrestrial creatures, and they have been seen as an advanced civilization, and perhaps a little too far advanced for their time. Several artifacts have appeared from ancient Egypt that made people think there's something bizarre about this civilization. Aliens, time travelers, you name it. Among these alleged artifacts is the Abydos Helicopter. These intriguing inscriptions seem to depict objects startlingly reminiscent of modern machinery, helicopters, submarines, and aircraft. But how is this possible in a civilization that thrived thousands of years before such technology was even a glimmer in humanity's eye? Well, at first glance, the alleged carvings resemble helicopters we see today. This led to people believing that the ancient Egyptians had a vision of the future, or perhaps were visited by time travelers. This idea fuels the fire of alternative history theories and prompts the tantalizing question, could the ancients have been privy to technology far beyond their time? Well, logically speaking, the answer would be an easy no. But with how brilliant the ancient Egyptians were, perhaps there's a chance that they were indeed knowledgeable about things we never expected. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Tamil Bell. With its name, you would expect that the Tamil Bell is an artifact found in India, and yet it was found over 7,400 miles away from the country in New Zealand. You see, the Tamil Bell is among the out-of-place artifacts. The bell, made of bronze, carries an inscription that suggests a timeline dating back to the 15th or early 16th century, a period when the Tamil people were renowned for their seafaring prowess. To this day, we're still unsure just how the bell ended up in New Zealand. There are theories, however. Some suggest that it was carried by ancient Tamil traders or explorers who ventured into the Pacific, possibly through Southeast Asia, reaching the coast of New Zealand. Others speculate that the bell might have been part of the cargo on a ship that met its fate in the vast ocean, only for the bell to wash ashore. The truth? Well, it remains elusive to this day. Number 18. London Hammer from New Zealand, here's another out-of-place artifact, this time in the heart of Texas. Unearthed in the 1930s near London, Texas, this ordinary tool, a hammer, became among the most mysterious and debated artifacts of all time. The London hammer is an ordinary tool, but what's bizarre is the fact that it was found encased in a rock concretion, suggesting it had been there for possibly hundreds of millions of years. At first glance, this would place the hammer squarely in the time of the dinosaurs, long before humans were thought to have roamed the earth. The hammer is of a seemingly mundane variety, its wooden handle turned to coal, while the iron head has not rusted, preserved within the stone. But how could a man-made tool be embedded within a rock formation dating back to ancient geological periods? Well, that's the question. Some propose that the hammer was a product of a prehistoric civilization, suggesting that our timeline of human technological advancement is fundamentally flawed. Others believe the hammer might not be as ancient as the rock surrounding it suggests, proposing that the concretion could have formed much more rapidly around the tool, possibly due to the unique chemical composition of the surrounding area or through actions of naturally occurring mineral springs. There are also critics of the most popular theory regarding this artifact, with many claiming that the hammer is likely a 19th century miner's tool, somehow becoming encased in a fast-forming sediment or limestone deposit, not uncommon in highly mineralized areas. Although the most plausible, many choose to believe the more fictitious theories. Number 17. Roman Dodecahedrons Spool knitting device? A children's toy? Fortune-telling device? A measuring tool? A candle holder? What do you think the purpose of this tool is after just a glance? Well, even archaeologists don't know. The Roman dodecahedron is between 1.5 and 4.5 inches in diameter, and one could easily hold one or two of these tools in their hand. These artifacts are believed to date from the 2nd to the 4th century AD. These artifacts have been found scattered across the territories of the former Roman Empire, yet no written records from their time mention them. How could something so prevalently made have no written records? 
What's more, the craftsmanship of the dodecahedrons, with precise angles and uniformity across examples, requires precision and a great understanding of metalworking. It takes a lot of effort to create them, so many believe that these are no ordinary tools. Today, the general consensus is that these tools were made as a tool for measurement. Archaeologists believe these 12-sided objects were used for surveying, especially for measuring an object's distance, length, or width. Exactly how? Well, we're yet to fully figure that out. Number 16. The Dropa Stones It was said that the Dropa Stones were discovered in 1938 in the mountains of Bayan Karaula on the border between China and Tibet. These stone discs resembling phonograph records with a hole in the center and a spiral groove etched from the center to the perimeter are said to be 12,000 years old, predating known civilizations in the area. Each disc measures up to 12 inches in diameter, and the grooves are purported to be composed of tiny hieroglyphics that, according to some researchers, tell the story of a spacecraft from a distant planet that crashed into the mountains. The survivors, known as the Dropa, found refuge in the region's caves but could not return to their home planet. The local tribes, fearing these strangers, hunted them down, and over time, the story of the Dropa faded into legend. These tones were allegedly analyzed and placed on a turntable, and strangely enough, they vibrated or hummed in an unusual rhythm, as if an electrical charge had passed through them. This led to further speculation that the stones were not merely decorative or ceremonial objects, but held some technological purpose perhaps storing information or energy in a form not yet understood by modern science. With the audacious theories surrounding the stones, they were naturally met with a lot of skepticism. After all, the primary sources of information about the Dropa Stones and the Dropa people come from the writings of Russian scientist Carol Robin Evans and Austrian author Ernest Wegerer, who provided vivid accounts of the discovery and translation of the stones. However, the lack of physical evidence None of the original stones are available for study in any known museum or research facility, and the absence of direct documentary evidence from the 1930s excavation has led many to question the narrative's authenticity. Number 15. Gobekli Tepe In the southeastern landscape of Turkey, near the city of Şanlıurfa, an archaeological discovery was made in 1994 that would turn the understanding of human history on its head. The discovery was Gobekli Tepe. This site predates Stonehenge by over 6,000 years, pushing back the dawn of civilization and challenging our perceptions of the capabilities of early hunter-gatherer societies. Gobekli Tepe is mysterious for several reasons, not least its age. Dated to around 9600 BCE, it's considered the world's oldest known temple complex, constructed thousands of years before the invention of writing, pottery, or the wheel. The site consists of several large circular and oval-shaped structures, each marked by massive T-shaped limestone pillars, some reaching up to 20 feet in height and weighing up to 10 tons. Stonehenge was a remarkable feat, and the Gebekli Tepe, built thousands of years earlier, is an even greater mystery. How could people at the time accomplish such a sophisticated structure? This question remains to this day. Number 14. Shokoki Dogu The Jomun period, an era that spanned between 14,000 BC and 300 BC, witnessed the creation of the Dogu, particularly the Shikoki Dogu. These figurines are small humanoid figurines, typically made of clay. What sets them apart are their distinctive features, exaggerated eyes, often depicted as goggles or resembling a space helmet, intricate patterns and adornments, and sometimes limbs that appear to be wearing some suit or armor. These figurines have been found across various sites in Japan, with their purpose and meaning still largely shrouded in mystery. Just look at this figurine and tell me what they look like. If you think they look like ancient astronauts, you're not alone. One prevailing theory suggests that the Shikoki Dogu were used in rituals, possibly related to fertility, childbirth, or healing. The detailed craftsmanship and care evident in each figurine imply that they were of significant importance. Some Shikoki Dogu have been found broken in precise ways, which lead scholars to believe that they were deliberately damaged as part of a ritual, perhaps to draw illness or misfortune away from a person and transfer it to the figurine. Meanwhile, some researchers suggest that this feature could represent spiritual beings or deities with the goggles acting as a means to see into the spiritual world. Others propose that they might depict ancient shamans in ceremonial garb, 
their exaggerated features symbolizing their ability to connect with supernatural forces. As excavations and research continue, we may inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Shikoki Dogu. Until then, these figurines will inevitably be surrounded by conspiracies. Number 13. The Baalbek Megaliths The Baalbek Megaliths are massive stone blocks, each measuring from a few feet in height up to a staggering 14 feet. These stones can weigh as much as an astonishing 800 tons. But what's so mysterious about these rocks? You see, the quarry where these stones were carved is about a mile from the temple site, and the journey between the two is not an easy path, even by today's standards. With no modern means of transportation, how did the people who built these megaliths manage to haul the heavy stone so perfectly and safely? This has led to numerous theories about the methods and technologies used by the ancients, ranging from ramps and rollers to more speculative ideas involving lost technologies or even extraterrestrial intervention. Another mysterious thing about these megaliths is a colossal stone left in the nearby quarry known as the Stone of the Pregnant Woman. This block is even larger, estimated to weigh around 1,000 tons. Its name derives from local legends, yet its intended purpose and the reason for its abandonment remain a mystery. However, some scholars suggest it was meant to be even bigger than those at the temple site, intended for an expansion that was never completed. Number 12. The Terracotta Army The Terracotta Army, a collection of thousands of clay soldiers buried near the tomb of China's first emperor, Chen Shi Huang, is a marvel of ancient artistry and engineering that has fascinated the world since its discovery in 1974 by local farmers in Shanxi province. Constructed around 210 or 209 BCE, the Terracotta Army consisted of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses, and 150 cavalry horses, each meticulously crafted in the likeness of a real human reference. And yet, to this day, how exactly these terracotta figures were created remains a mystery. The tomb of the first emperor that they're guarding also remains unopened, leading to many questions about this archaeological site. Number 11. The Baghdad Battery In 1938, a 5.5-inch high clay jar containing a copper cylinder and an iron rod was found in Kujit Rabu near Baghdad, Iraq. This seemingly ordinary contraption is now known as the Baghdad Battery. It was believed that this jar was somehow an ancient battery used by people in the region at the time. The prevailing theory suggests this artifact could have been an ancient form of galvanic cell or battery. When filled with an acidic substance such as vinegar or citrus juice, the assembly could generate a low-voltage electric circuit. The question that naturally arises is, what purpose could such a device have served over two millennia ago? Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the use of the Baghdad battery. One of the most captivating suggestions is that it was utilized in electroplating, depositing a layer of one metal onto the surface of another. This process could have been used for decorative purposes, giving inexpensive metals the appearance of gold or silver or perhaps for religious or medicinal reasons, believed to imbue objects with mystical properties or healing powers. However, there's no direct evidence in ancient texts or records to suggest that the civilizations of the time knew about electricity or its practical applications. This has led some to question whether the Baghdad battery was indeed used as a battery or if its purpose was something entirely different, possibly mundane such as a storage vessel for sacred scrolls, as suggested by the lack of other similar artifacts from the period. Skeptics of the electrical hypothesis argue that the Baghdad battery might be a case of over-interpretation, seeing advanced technology where there might be none. However, proponents argue that the absence of clear evidence does not necessarily indicate the absence of the phenomenon, suggesting that much knowledge of ancient civilizations remains undiscovered or lost to history. Number 10. Mysterious Nan Madal. The Nan Madal, located off the eastern shore of the island of Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia, is an ancient and enigmatic complex that has fascinated archaeologists, historians, and travelers for decades. Often referred to as the Venice of the Pacific, this monumental architectural achievement consists of nearly 100 artificial islets interconnected by a network of canals, all built atop a coral reef in the Pacific Ocean. Constructed around the 8th or 9th century CE and used until the 16th century, Nan Madal served as the political and ceremonial center of the Saudular dynasty. This powerful regime once ruled over Pompeii, 
The site spans over 200 acres and comprises basalt and coral boulders, some weighing as much as 50 tons. The engineering feat required to transport these massive stones and construct the islets remains one of the great mysteries of the ancient world. The complexity and grandeur of Nan Madol raise numerous questions about how a pre-industrial society without the wheel, metal tools, or pulleys could have engineered such an architectural marvel. Legends among the local Pompeian people suggest that the stones were flown to the site or magically levitated by two brothers who were sorcerers. While it clearly served as a residence for the elite, a political hub, and a religious center, the exact reasons for its construction in such a challenging location remain speculative. The islets house temples, tombs, and dwellings, with the central islet of Nandawas being the most fortified, indicating its importance as a religious or political seat of power. The decline of Nanmadol is as mysterious as its construction. When European explorers arrived in the 19th century, the city was abandoned and ruined. Various theories have been proposed for its decline, including environmental degradation, overextension of resources, and social upheaval. The site was eventually overtaken by the jungle, hiding its secrets until it was rediscovered and explored in more modern times. Today, Nanmadol is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but its mystery remains. Number 9. The Piri Reis Rediscovered in 1929 in the storied archives of the Tepkapi Palace in Istanbul, the Piri Reis map is arguably the most mysterious map ever made. This enigmatic chart created by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Haji Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri, better known as Piri Reis, is dated 1513. It's a fragment of a once larger world map that combined information from various sources available at the time, including 20 Arabic sources, 8 Ptolemaic maps, 4 Indian maps, and even one map by Christopher Columbus. It's a pretty ordinary map, but what makes it mysterious is the fact that it included a detailed depiction of the western coastlines of Europe and North Africa as well as the eastern coast of South America with remarkable precision. The map extends into the unknown southern regions, showing the northern part of Antarctica's coastline, a continent that was not officially discovered until 1820. This anachronistic detail has fueled much of the map's mystery and speculation. Scholars and researchers have debated how Piri Reis could have known of the Antarctic coast centuries before it was officially discovered. Some suggest that the map is evidence of an advanced prehistoric civilization with sophisticated cartographic knowledge. Others propose that the map was compiled from even older sources, now lost, that might have charted these lands in ancient times. However, most historians and cartographers agree that the Piri Reis map's depiction of the Antarctic coast is not as mysterious as it first appears. They argue that the map actually represents a combination of guesswork and compilation errors along with the possible confusion of the Patagonian coastline with that of Antarctica. The map's legend even states that it was drawn from a collection of maps, some of which were based on the explorations of Columbus and others derived from older sources. Despite its mysteries and the debates it sparked, the Piri Reis map is valued for its historical significance as one of the oldest surviving maps to show the Americas. Number 8. Dorchester Pot The Dorchester Pot was discovered in 1852, Think of this artifact as something similar to the London Hammer. This discovery occurred during an explosive event for a construction project in Meeting House Hill in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Workers were blasting through solid rock when they stumbled upon this curious and seemingly out-of-place object. According to accounts, the pot was blasted out of pudding stone, a type of conglomerate rock, and fragmented into two pieces. The event and the artifact quickly sparked interest and debate among experts. The pot is described as being made of a zinc and silver alloy, intricately decorated with silver inlay, depicting floral patterns and what is possibly a vine. The craftsmanship and style of the pot led to immediate speculation about its age and origin, with initial reports suggesting it could be an ancient artifact, possibly hundreds or even thousands of years old. Critics argue that just like the London Hammer, the Dorchester pot could be an example of a time-slip object where items from a more recent historical period end up being buried in geological layers that suggest a much older age due to construction, burial, or other disturbances of the soil and rock layers. However, others also suggest that the story might be a hoax or a case of mistaken observation, common in the 19th century when the scientific method and archaeological standards were not as rigorously applied as they are today. Number 7. The Saxe Woman Walls Saxe Woman is an architectural marvel that crowns the outskirts of Cusco, Peru. 
This monumental complex with its colossal walls has fascinated visitors and researchers since the Spaniards first laid eyes on it in the early 1530s. The walls of Sacsayhuaman are particularly famous for their intricate stonework, which features massive stones, some weighing over 100 tons, fitted together with astounding precision. The Incas achieved this without using mortar or any modern tools, leading many to wonder about the methods and technologies employed. The precision with which these stones are cut and assembled is so high that not even a blade of grass can be inserted between them, a feat that remains a mystery to this day. Despite centuries of study, Sexay Woman continues to hold many secrets. Its construction defies easy explanation, and its precise role within Inca society, whether as a military stronghold, a ceremonial center, or something else, remains a topic of debate among scholars. Number 6. Alexander the Great's Tomb Alexander the Great, who lived from 356 to 323 BCE, left an indelible mark on history, creating one of the largest empires of the ancient world before his untimely death at the age of 32. According to historical accounts, Alexander was initially buried in Memphis, Egypt, but later his body was moved to a tomb in Alexandria, the city he founded by Ptolemy Philadelphus, one of his successors. Despite this information, we're yet to find the actual resting place of the ruler. The accounts of Alexander's tomb in Alexandria describe it as a magnificent mausoleum, fitting for a leader of his stature, visited by Roman emperors and noted historians of the ancient world. However, after the 4th century CE, references to the tomb's location became scarce, leading to speculation that it was destroyed or lost over time due to natural disasters, war, or urban development. Modern searches for Alexander's tomb have focused on Alexandria, where underwater excavations have revealed parts of the ancient city submerged by earthquakes and tsunamis. Despite these efforts and the discovery of significant archaeological sites such as the sunken palace complex believed to be part of the royal quarters, Alexander's final resting place eludes discovery. Whether we'll be able to catch a glimpse of it, only time can tell. Number 5. Linear A Linear A an ancient script used by the Minoan civilization of Crete has puzzled linguists and archaeologists since its discovery in the early 20th century. This enigmatic writing system, dating back to approximately 1800 to 1450 BCE, was unearthed through various excavations at various Minoan sites, most notably at Gnosis by Sir Arthur Evans. Despite over a century of study, Linear A remains one of the most enduring mysteries of the ancient world. Countless experts have tried deciphering it, but no one has cracked the code so far. Linear A is primarily known through clay tablets and other inscriptions found across Crete and some Aegean islands. It predates the Mycenaean Linear B script, which was deciphered in 1952 by Michael Ventris and John Chadwick, revealing a form of early Greek. The decipherment of Linear B brought hope that Linear A would soon yield its secrets as well. And yet, here we are, still clueless about the secrets of Linear A. Number 4. The Kachabib Wall In the vast and storied landscape of Jordan, a remarkable discovery was made in the 1940s by Sir Alec Kirkbride, a British diplomat and amateur archaeologist. The Kachabib Wall The Kachabib is not a towering structure. It stands only about a meter high and is about half a meter wide. Yet its length and the rugged terrain it traverses are what makes it truly remarkable. Along the main wall, there are numerous watchtowers and smaller walls that branch off suggesting that it may have served a complex array of purposes. The wall is believed to date back to the Nabataean period, or possibly even earlier, around the first centuries BC and AD. To this day, we're unsure of its purpose. Some believe that it's a boundary marker delineating territories. Others, however, believe it's a defensive structure against invaders or marauding tribes. There are also claims that this wall was made to contain livestock. Yet, despite extensive studies, None of these theories fully account for the wall's length and location. Number 3. The Sea Peoples The Late Bronze Age was a period marked by the flourishing and then sudden collapse of civilizations across the Mediterranean. The most renowned figures of this age are the Sea Peoples, whose sudden appearance and aggressive actions against the ancient powers of the time have puzzled historians and archaeologists for decades. The Sea Peoples remained one of the most enigmatic forces in ancient history, primarily because of the scant and often ambiguous records left behind. Emerging around the 12th century BCE, 
These maritime warriors attacked ancient Egypt, the Hittites, and other civilizations in the eastern Mediterranean with such ferocity and coordination that they're often credited with precipitating the late Bronze Age collapse. This period saw the dramatic decline of some of the ancient world's most sophisticated cultures. But who were the Sea Peoples? That's the thing. No matter where historians and archaeologists look, these people remain a mystery. However, there are a few records about them. The Egyptian records, particularly from the reigns of Pharaoh Ramesses II and III, provide the most detailed accounts of the Sea Peoples. They're described through a series of inscriptions and reliefs, most notably in the mortuary temple of Ramesses III at Medinet Habu, which depicts a great naval battle. These records list several groups, including the Peleset, the Denyan, the Shekelesh, the Weshish, and the Jekker, among others, suggesting a confederation of tribes rather than a single ethnicity or nation. Despite these records, the origins of the Sea Peoples remain shrouded in mystery. Number 2. Works of Old Men We're all probably familiar with the Nazca Lines. These geoglyphs created with refined precision and craftsmanship have fascinated archaeologists since their discovery. However, it's not the only mysterious geoglyph we've found so far. If you venture into the heart of the Middle Eastern deserts, you'll find the works of old men, geoglyphs etched on Earth that range from depictions of kites and wheels to walls and pendants. These geoglyphs date back thousands of years, with some estimates placing them as far back as 9,000 years ago, making them contemporaries of the earliest known civilizations. But what purpose did these colossal earthworks serve? Who were the architects of such grand designs? And why were they created in the first place? One of the most intriguing forms among these structures is the kites, believed to be ancient animal traps. Their long stone walls converging into a deadly enclosure suggest a sophisticated understanding of animal migration and hunting techniques. The wheels, with their complex and precise radial designs, have sparked a multitude of theories regarding their purpose. Some suggest astronomical alignments, serving as ancient calendars or observations to mark the solstices and equinoxes. Others propose that they might have held religious or ceremonial significance, acting as sites for rituals or as markers for burial grounds. However, to this day, we're yet to find out about the truth regarding these geoglyphs. And now, it's time for today's topic. This excavation is among the most amazing finds archaeologists still can't explain. Amateur archaeologists allegedly discovered a creature so bizarre that they couldn't believe their eyes. While excavating in an undisclosed location, they purportedly found remains resembling dragons. It's natural for us to discover new species through fossils and other remains. It's through this that we map how life on Earth evolved. Those who found these bizarre remains believed they had found something initially thought to be mystical. Unfortunately, some were not convinced. Others believed it was a hoax orchestrated by the amateur archaeologists to gain traction with their project. A hoax or a groundbreaking find? Let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Number 1. Tomb of Genghis Khan Genghis Khan is among the most renowned figures in history. His name never fails to appear in books, and his legacy will not be forgotten. And yet, to this day, Genghis Khan's final resting place remains unknown. A military genius with innovative governance, Genghis Khan's rule was marked with brilliance, war, and conflict. However, his cruelty and benevolence had a significant impact on human history. Genghis Khan managed to unite the warring tribes of Mongolia. He was a tactician so advanced that his military strategies are still studied today and a ruler who created laws that promoted religious freedom and meritocracy. Genghis Khan's empire stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the heart of Europe covering vast swaths of land and encompassing numerous cultures. His conquest laid the groundwork for the Silk Road, a network of trade routes that connected East and West, facilitating an unprecedented exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. Across human history, the final resting place of kings, queens, pharaohs, and other rulers has always been revered and prepared with the utmost luxury. And yet, the location of this Mongolian ruler's tomb is shrouded in secrecy. We've searched. But despite extensive historical records and legends, the location of his final resting place is unknown. According to Mongolian tradition, Genghis Khan's burial party ended the lives of anyone they encountered to conceal the path to his tomb, then committed suicide to keep the secret for eternity. Over the centuries, numerous expeditions have tried to locate the tomb, but no one ever found success in locating it. Now I'm really curious about Genghis Khan's resting place, but how about you? 
Which of these mysteries would you like to finally unravel? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.